Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about the new items that are available on the anniversary party mm, turning this year, which are pretty good and or fun. I haven't got them all yet, but uh, since they are so interesting, I I want to bring them up and discuss it. I will only discuss the new ones because you can find a lot of videos on YouTube about the older ones and also I will discuss them on folder so you might wanna skip ahead. The best ones are actually or more fun ones are actually at the end of the video. So you can go if you want. Let's see. First thing off is this um, a cosmetic adwer, which was the sixth anniversary. Um, this one has a little fun text because it says that it's the fifth anniversary of the sixth anniversary, and I think it was available last year as well because the fifth of the sixth is. And it's that style cosmetic, and so nothing to say. This is um, fun, uh, it's uh, actually a new item, as you see, it does say D12, and this is the 12th anniversary, so it's a new one. And uh, basically, this uh, item. When used, I don't know what the cooldown is, but when used, it brings you to the Stormwitch Marketplace. So it's basically you can put them together with the key to Disney Star, the bottle of mist, and now we have one for everyone as well. So it's bad actually if you play someone without uh, UMD or if your class like the Operation Barbarian. And you won't have enough UMD for teleport until later up levels, and so uh, it's good to come back to Aberon without walking that much in Evening Star or whatever. After that, we have a, a companion. A, Pet and it's a cobalt shaman, purple cobalt shaman. I don't have this, there is no, no one nearby which has, the, has it to show you, but uh, that's fun. It's cobalt, always fun. Then we have it's pretty costly, it costs 20. 250 party favors, but it is a sentient jewel which talks like a, like a cobalt, and that's I always wanted, but I probably won't get it because it's too many party favors and I want all the rest. So, yeah, probably not gonna get it, but it's good item. I mean, it's a sentient jewel, and probably the finest one in respect to the ones that are given away normally, which are not that fine. And here we have all old things. I'm just checking that I didn't miss anything. The motherboard, I don't remember if it was last year, but still we are gonna look at the level 31. Well, it's a tower shield, so and the damage is decent. It's a 1d10 plus 1 two times plus 14, and it, I think the best shields still are better than this. Let's see if I get one. 
these uh, well some small sheep <coughs> sorry about that no I don't have the shields here but uh, it's not bad at all the damage reduction 22 look good shield bonus 26 pretty good and it has cost touch as you see there under the damage modifiers so it's decent also the critical roll 1020 times 3 which gets of, of course that with all the enhancement and so I think it's one of the best shield for damaging at, at least it has bashing so that 76 is more bludgeoning to another 76 is so 14 to 6 is more than the 35.10 so it's like each one is 28 56 damage more by bashing per bludgeoning also we have impact free so well you don't need the feet to play it good still it's it's a, a decent shield i thought it had um an average slot, slot as well but that was too much also the um, the text there is kind of fun because there is a large tree where people put post message on the tree in hopes that others would read them and benefit from these sage words. When that tree fell, the wood would do to, to make this shield, so it, it's funny. Then we have some foreign posts. They are basically the same with different elements. And uh, it's a caster item, as you see. Kambashtion 159. It. Wait. It doesn't have a minimum level. Oh, uh, yeah, it's level 40. Yeah, sorry. Kambashtion 159. It's not that amazing. Fire Lord 23%. That's good. Inside play vocation free, good but not amazing. With the Yaman ten, it it's simply not good. Simply, probably the lower one are good. One hundred twenty eight at level twenty five is decent, but you can get more with just other items. And as you see, there was shocking. I see all that stuff, all the same. Probably the caustic one has conjuration instead of evocation. I don't know. No, still evocation, so it doesn't even take care of that. The necrotic probably is at least the best one because it had exactly necromancy, which is usually more sought after, sought after and the modification there are not that many higher modification available so at least at very least this is more decent now we have what i think is the best item here the bang hammer it doesn't cost much just 30 which is a good thing there's a minimum level of of uh, um it doesn't stay. I guess I well I want to get it anyway, so I probably edit the the video once I got I get it to, to understand the, what level it is because if it is low level it's way 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 better than my level. As you see this is uh, one hand and one armor. The damaging stats are not that good, it depends on the level. But first off, it has 
the three good verbal include banishing, improve the smiting, and improve the disruption. Now, this means that you can use this weapon for everything. And there's the, the killing effect on verbal hits, which uh, if you if the minimum level of this item is low enough, this is amazing, especially on Raper. Uh, this is why I want to get this. That's amazing. I'm bad, construct, outsiders, living things, nothing in your skills. Also, it has a what was a unique announcement before. Anchoring. Yeah, the same as the boots, anchoring, which you need for Tower of Despair. Now you don't have to keep, equip those. They can equip this. Yeah, it prevents you from being tasted, but still, best item. I mean, I would get this just for Tower of Despair because I can't bother to get the to 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 use one of my slots for just a book that I use only with the. This at least I can swing for fun, at very least. For role playing stuff. Also, the the fun text is also quite fun. Now we have rose colored goggles. Edges of 2006. Now I already have this item, actually, so I can show you. Show you. What happens? As you see, I now have 203 hit points because my level cap has become 10. See? That's fun actually. It doesn't take away all the other stuff. And here you have your adjustment actually so it could in some weird way and also scale it, it doesn't scale back anything else but um but hp is but it's fun enough i, I mean so that, that's an item i'm actually happy i got it because i I got because I was curious on what it could do, and yeah, pretty fun. Also, as a new stuff, we have new eternal flasks. Flasks. I don't know if I have the icy binding because of ice. No, I have uh, one of these, the the coffee one. Uh, yeah, this one I have already have because it, this was uh, another one. As you see, this was this gives plus ten jump, plus five graph balance. Uh, you get blur, plus ten will save, some guys to sleep, and twenty five percent unarmed charge rate. Yeah, unarmed charge rate. That's why I use this. Although the Terra movement that I use it's actually better, but it can be used. Problem is on expiration. I mean, this enhancement uh, lasts for 90 seconds and it has a cooldown of 90 seconds. Oh, it, they change it. It does not longer put other Eternal Stars on cooldown. So this is the best one for artificial, just for the 25% unarmed charge rate. On inspiration, you get minus 15% dodge. No, you get minus 15% movement speed, minus minus 20 dodge, and minus 30 to will saves, and minus 40 jump. 
but you just have to keep clicking it. This one plus ten to you get one hundred bonus to uncautionous range, which is amazing. Plus ten intimidate, so this is ten to see arm um, tanky one because you get uncautionous range, which is good and intimidate as well. You get plus ten chamber. I guess it's cool. But 35% bonus to 8 for million regular attacks <coughs> and plus 5 to 4 to 6. That's amazing. The on effect inspiration thing is the same for everyone, but uh, this, um, this stuff is just a permanent buff that you have to keep doing, basically. And at last we have this, which you, you get a new effect to rage, so don't get it as a barbarian. Plus 10 to diplomacy, to listen, 17% reduction, 5% 5 bonus to rage stage. That this is well this is the not good one. It does not have anything at all that even remotely good. But uh, the, the other ones are pretty good, and I wonder if uh, the, the old one has gotten an, an update as well. So I must go to a bank to see if that's the case. Well, shortest way to a bank. Go to the bank. I hope. Oh, are those bomb? Oh, here we go. I think. Door study information. Yeah, that one was the old one. Here we go. I see pumping. Yeah. It got a wait a wait updated. Well, that changes something. Like alright. Let's take this out of the bank. And the thing. So yeah. Old one got updated, that's good. And I show you what these items do. So I will probably get the bank hammer as well as the G12 because it's fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video and that you now you know what you get by running the anniversary event.